The Jews murmured about Jesus because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? Do we not know his father and mother? Then how can he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered and said to them, Stop murmuring among yourselves. Now, it might be normal to think, what is wrong with these Jews grumbling and murmuring all the time? And really, there is a long tradition of Jewish grumbling or murmuring in the Hebrew Bible. The Septuagint uses the same Greek word as we see in the Gospel multiple times to relate about how the children of Israel grumbled in the wilderness, uh, once in Exodus and four times in the book of Numbers. In each case, they grumble or murmur or complain in some English translations for some pretty reasonable concerns, frankly, because they don't have water or meat, because they are afraid that they're going to be slaughtered in the desert, or because they don't understand the fate of Korah and his followers. But the problem seems clearly that they don't just grumble. Rather, the problem is the way they grumble. In each case, the children of Israel grumble against someone, against God, against Moses, against Aaron. And I think this information can help us to make sense of a tiny piece of this week's gospel reading. In today's gospel, it's very tempting to think, oh, there go those Jews where they're grumbling and murmuring again. But Jesus doesn't say, stop your murmuring. He says, stop murmuring amongst yourselves. There's a difference. He doesn't mean, I, th I think, stop asking questions, but rather bring those questions out. Let's talk about these issues. Because let's face it, those are some pretty reasonable questions that the Jews are asking in this week's gospel. Disagreement, questioning, complaining, these are not in themselves a problem. Uh, in Judaism, we have a lively concept of productive conflict, what we might call healthy disagreement. The Mishnah that was written down about maybe a century after the Gospel of John teaches in Pirkei Avot, chapter 5, verse 17, that any disagreement which is for the sake of heaven shall eventually endure, and any disagreement which is not for the sake of heaven shall eventually not endure. The distinction between constructive and destructive dis disagreement can allow us to not only avoid unhealthy conflict, but should also serve to encourage wrangling for the sake of heaven. Questioning, challenging, and disagreement are not necessarily marks of negativity, strife, or schism but rather they are to be understood as an essential part of making sense of the things that matter. Some things are important enough to disagree over, to ask questions about. The challenge is learning how to disagree well. This gospel presents us with a model that suggests that disagreements ought not remain hidden in the background, but should be brought out and examined together.